Oh, go ahead. Go ahead here in the broadcast bunker. Alright, so we got a late night match coming to you. Best Blood Club first team, the threes team, the Grand Platts, is taking on Team Overflow. I believe Grand Platts are at. Aw, oh, heck. 5 0. Or 4 1. I don't know. They're in a good spot for uh, playoff position. Uh, Team Overflow uh, is right now at 2 and 3. That don't mean anything. Um, I said it before. That's why you kind of play the games. You know, the second team, West, uh, at the midpoint lost uh, to a team that was 0 3. So, we're going to see what happens. I'm not going to take anything for granted. So, not sponsored or anything. Uh, this is an IGL match, IndieGamingLeague.com. Go there, read stuff, figure out how you can join, etc., etc., etc. Um, so, just kind of an update. Uh, for Grand Platts, the two teams lost. The twos team lost earlier today, uh, putting them at four and two. They should be in line for a playoff spot, but like, I don't know. It seems to be very top heavy, but you know we'll have to wait and see. Um, the second team West has not played either of their games yet. Uh, the twos team should be playing tomorrow. I have no idea when the three team is playing. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. So while I'm waiting, let's see what kind of research I can do. So for Best Buds Club Grand Platts, they are rolling out the lineup of Dilly Bar, Ninja Zack, and Murloc. This is the team that, this is probably the configuration that has played together the most. Uh, the subs are You Got Green and Unforgiven, who probably are not available, as you can see. Uh, Dilly is earning the uh, carrying for the squad with the highest score per game. Leading in goals per game. Uh, Murlock is the leader in assists. Savior goes to Ninja Zack. And Murak is shooting 30%, and the rest of the team is shooting like 36 and change. So it should be, uh, should be interesting for them, right? So for Team Overflow... I hate this so much. Let's see. Let's see if I can actually got there. Yeah. Okay. So they are two and three. Um, they obviously have a primary lineup too. Who knows who's actually playing? I mean, all I have to go upon is like, hey, their stats are 
you know, hey, they look like a dude in 3D. But again, like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so we are waiting for everyone to get the match set up. I'm just filling time. So, just fill in time here. So waiting patiently. Um, I guess other random facts. This match was moved back an hour, but that's okay. I guess I can confirm the Grand Platz record. I'm just kind of getting antsy myself, waiting for waiting for everything to start. Yes. Okay. So the Grand Platts, BBC Grand Platts, are five and zero. Oh. So this means a lot, really, because like <laughs> we're 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 like it is just so crowded at the top that ah. Uh, like this, could, this, like so. Ninja Zack was on a team that uh, got a 16th seed at five and one. So, you know, there's there's a lot of undefeated teams. Like, you know, there's a couple. There's like even an, uh, a couple conferences where it's like, you know, based on based on like how the IGL hands out playoff spots, like. There's going to be underfeed teams getting wildcard spots. Like, if everything holds. Um, you know, so... You, you know, who know, who knows what's going to happen. So it's just like, it's just like so important, uh, you know, to win your match and then try and do it as quickly as possible. So that's what BBC is looking at. And, like... You know, I have no scouting report on Team Overflow, other than, you know, they're two and three. I mean, I guess the obvious is, hey, they're going to come out here and play spoiler. Um, you know. So just go out and do it. Like, that, that, that seems to be, you know, like whatever, whatever game plan they have, they should, you know. It's a stupidly cliched, but you know, just go out and do it. So, um, I'll be. I'm. I'm interested in how this is obviously going to play out. So we're just uh, waiting on a uh, team overflow. You know the funds of. Hold on, I'm going to fix my mic. Okay. But again, like, we got bets of five incoming here. Like, I think it's pretty simple. You know, BBC just needs to come out in 3-0. And, like, Team Overflow needs to go for the upset. 
but who knows what's going to happen. So just to run down, um, this is a week six matchup in Indie Gaming League. Uh, the East section, 3v3, uh, Division 2. Division 2 is champ 3 to GC. It's either 1599 or 1600. I'm sure the one rating point matters. Um, so it's like a 400 point, 300. Or no, 200 point. Something like that. It's late at night and I can't do maths. Also, the only time I've seen Champ 3 is when I'm playing with Champ 3s or higher. <laughs> um, yeah, for anyone not on either team who's watching the VOD uh, IndieGamingLeague.com like go check them out I obviously this is this is our second uh, session we were in the uh, summer and now the fall session um, I've had a g good time doing this my only complaint is scheduling but again scheduling <laughs> like yeah I like the super flexibility it gives all the teams it's just sometimes a pain in the butt but again that's just like how this nonsense goes okay we're we're getting into it so this is game one week six BBC versus overflow Faceoff is controlled by Overflow. Mark with a nice challenge, but Overflow is still in possession. Zach puts out through the corner. That is Latumos. Not yep, just kind of blocks it off the wall. That's a miss from Murloc. Miss from Dilly. Yep, brings it in. It moves over to the side to Matt. That's just out of Matt's reach. BBC setting up. Go with the flick, no one there. Matt bangs it in. Zack clears it out. But Yap is first there. Not Yap. Probably gonna shortcut a lot of people's names. Murloc misses. Dilly misses. Who kept that in? That's kept in though by Blue. Latumos kept it in too. Zack eventually clears it out. Matt puts it back in. Murloc on net! Nice save from Latumos. Until he challenges Matt. Oh man. There's a lot of similar, similar sounding names on uh, Overflow. Nice block there from Matt. Follow up challenge from Murloc, but not yet. Puts it to the side. Zach loses the challenge. Not yet. Matt. Save from Dilly. Not a good touch. Matt is there for the follow-up. Puts it away. Team Overflow. Up 1-0 here in game one. So who's going to get to that? Dilly misses. Zach. Matt clears it out on the challenge. Latumos up. Going for a ceiling shot. Uh, I think that was Morlock who blocked that and read that. Zach misses. Then tried to soul play, but was demoed by Matt. Atumos knocks out. Pinch attempt there from Team Overflow. Morlock clears it to the side. Not yet, puts it in. Zach with the clear. Dilly gets around Latumos. Matt keeps it in. Over Murloc. Zach, last person back, makes the save. Double commit from Overflow. Zach on the counter. Ties the game up. Looks like a double commit there. Nah, no, we're not going to see it. 
I thought I saw a double commit there from Overflow. So, 1-1 one, one with 241 to go here in game one. This is a face-off that will be controlled by Team Overflow. Not yet, puts it out. Latumos follows. Tries for a double. Nice steer. In the corner. Comes out. Ooh, nice block. Here comes Overflow. Ooh, not yet. Pinches in. Ooh, nice block. Zach puts it up high. Gets challenged by Matt. Matt keeps it in. Dilly first. Zach is up. Oh, misses. Pressure. Nice clear from Matt. The two most. Zach bangs it back in. Matt clears out to the side. Challenge Dilly, but he's beaten by Latumos. Ooh, another double commit there from Overflow, but this one will not be punished. Dilly puts it off to the left. It's a nice clear. Not yet misses a second. Steered to the side by Zach. Ooh, that looked somewhat intentional. That's a nice play. However, Overflow, still on pressure. Double whiff, one from each team. Not yet, keeps it in. Murlock puts it out to the side. Ooh. That would have been interesting. So, what happened there? Ah, it's just Latuma speed Dilly Bar. And Dilly was the only one, but was the last person back. The other members of BBC didn't get back in time. Two to one overflow. One thirteen to go. Nice steer. Murloc off the backboard. Matt puts out to the side. Dilly over Latumos. No follow up from BBC. Zach. Oh, crossbar. BBC keeping the pressure on. Murloc tries to center. I believe that's not yet to Matt to Zach wow just all the similar sounding names here this isn't gonna cause a problem if this gate series goes to five Zach out nice clear by Latumos Dilly keeps it in Latumos puts it to the side Dilly not the greatest touch Morlock keeps it in Tries to drop it down. Matt takes it to the side. Ten to go. Matt misses the double. But I think that's just as good. That's up high. Mm, looks like some miscommunication on BBC. That ball is still up. Finally touches the ground. Team Overflow wins game one. Hmm. So, I should turn chat on. Okay. BBC had more shots. Um, but I mean, Team Overflow made it count. Just kind of like, it seems like the fluke. Out, you know. Are we actually going to... I'm not going to fight over that. Okay. So, overflow. Controlling it. Dilly now with the touch that they wanted. Here it comes, but that's too high. Not yet, trying to keep it in. Zach brings it out. Who tries for a pinch with Murloc. Oh, Murloc misses. on here 
But here comes an overflow attack. That's a miss from Dilly. Nice save by Murloc to clear it out as well. Murloc misses. Zack following. So let me go answer. I think Vice is their fourth. Is not their fourth. That is actually very interesting. But I'm not gonna get into this argument. Like, whatever. Stop being tilted. So, all that nonsense aside. So, going on here is that Team Overflow is up 1-0 in Game 2, past the 3.30 mark to go. BBC has had the majority of the shots from Game 1, but Overflow 1-2-1, so who knows what could happen. Right now BBC is on the attack. Nice, but that's even a better interception. Murloc misses. Ooh, that misses as well. Nice read from Latumos. No follow-up from BBC. Double commit. That drops down and miss from Dilly Bart. I. So, it's 2 nothing Overflow. So I'm just going to say this right now. Like, like, I'm going to break impartiality. Stop fucking chatting. You can argue with T now on it. Jesus. I'm so mad. This is why BBC is down 3 nothing. Not focusing on the game. This is why Overflow's up. Nice safe out of the tumors. Dilly tries to keep it in. Murloc is up. Zack misses. I'm seeing some slightly sloppy play right now. Overflow can afford it because they're up 3 0. Like, I'm not sure what BBC could do. It just right now looks like Overflow's in control of this game. I'd have supposed. I'm glad I get this going on. It's probably too little too late here in game two for BBC. I'm not even gonna tell him to just focus on the game. That's that's on Dilly. Like it, this just makes me mad. 
I mean, come on. Stop with this BS. Play the game. Just... Ugh. Well, regardless of how Dilly feels about it, I'm going to say BBC kind of threw this game away. And right now, I'm also going to say Overflow looks like the better team. I don't know what BBC can do to fix this. But... You know, they've got... If they if they want to win the series, they've got games 3 and 4 and 5 to figure it. To figure it out. Like... I can't believe you are arguing over the Observer at this point. I really can't. I really don't believe this. Like... Of course he's not! Alright, I need to... I am going to I'm going to chew him out actually. He's the club leader and everything. Um But like this fucking petty bullshit. So this is never gonna be used as my audition tape. But this is just this is just petty BS. I am, I am really livid right now. Like, he's not going to be in comms. Like, no one is going to be, well, no one's going to be that stupid because, like, the risk reward on it is just not worth it. Like, oh my god. So, game three. Overflow is setting out to do what exactly they need to do. They are in on match point here in this best of five. They're up two games to nothing. BBC, well, they have to start by winning games three. And then figure out what to do from there. I'm going to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. But they can start by not letting in goals. That's a nice play there from Team Overflow. Matt with a nice challenge. Just a nice center. And Latumos bangs it home. 1 0 Team Overflow. It's a good challenge from Murloc. Nice equalizer from Zach. Overflow couldn't get it out. Not the app. Tries to clear it out. Zach reads and follows. And puts it away. We have a tie game here. Still very early here in game three, though. Nice save from Zach on not the app shot. Matt puts it back in. Morlock with the clear. Zack up. No triple commit. Oh. That was probably too close anyways to blue, so... That looked like a pass. So... I spoke too soon. Is this a challenge for Murloc? Yes, a challenge for Murloc. Zach is there first. Nice control. BBC with the lead, 2 1. 336 to play, though, here in game three. So it's a one goal game in game one where it looks like BBC had more pressure. Um, but Overflow won that. Can't say the same about game two. That looked like Overflow's game. Here, 
Pretty even. Pretty even. Bat with the solo play. Just takes out. Beats a challenging Murloc. 2-2, two, two, 3.16 to go, game three. What a play. So that goes in the corner. Oh. Nice double touch from Dilly to clear it out. Got the upsettles it. Dilly misses the challenge, Murloc. All the Tumos is up. Oh, that. You feel like Overflow should have put that away. But they still had the pressure going. Not yet with no boost. That comes in. Oh, timely demo from Not Yap. That might have been a BBC goal. Instead, we're still here. Two all. Matt with the flick over Zach. Murloc puts it in the corner. The two most follows. Murloc puts it back in the corner. Nice play. The two most puts it a little too high. Zach gets it clear. Murloc takes it through the corner. Tries to challenge Matt. The two most around. Ooh, nice, nice play is last man back from Zach. However, overflow still in control. Dilly with the save. Double commit from overflow. Zach just has to put it out through the corner. Back into the corner. Nice challenge there from Latumos. Nice clear off of the overflow player. Dilly bags out. Zach. Ooh, nice save there from Latumos. Gets it out. Ooh, misread from Zach. Tumo still in charge, but gets challenged. Nice challenge there from Not Yap. This from Murloc. Double commit from Overflow. Oh, bad hit! Bad hit! Not Yap comes in and cleans it up. It looks like Murloc was trying to catch it, settle it. Instead, it just goes off the front of the car. The bumper bangs out and Latumos puts it away. So we're probably going to see some very conservative play. And I'm not going to blame them. I have uh, Team Overflow here. Like, it's on BBC. Under a minute to go. They are down by one. About to get swept. Zach is all alone. So, some nice aggressive play on the front of the net by Murloc. This gets to the front of the net. Dilly centers it. Zach puts it in. So we got a tie game here with 30 seconds to go. So. In golden gold territory, essentially. That's missed by a lot of people. That is centered. Nice save for Murloc. Is BBC going to play for overtime? Nope. <laughs> that's, a that's a great play from Overflow. Like... Yeah. That's... that's. And now BBC is probably going to be salty. Come on. So, uh, that's that. Uh, Team Overflow takes a series in a sweep, 3-0, here in week six. 
I believe that puts Team Overflow at three and three on the season, and BBC falls at five and one. So it's now out of everybody's hands. I think five and one should be enough to make the playoffs, but like, you know, that's that's just based on like the top. That's that's wild card territory. So who knows what's going to happen? Uh, the personal side is I'm supremely disappointed. Like. But that's the way it goes. So, we're call it here, and uh, I'm gonna briefly see what happens. So, I guess I should fix my car because I'm terrible at that. Um. So yeah. Uh. We'll see what happens with our twos match. I'll probably be broadcasting that. Um, I have no idea what's going on with our threes match. Um, it's going to be a freaking mess. I have. I'll deal with that as it comes up. So, anyways, uh, that's it for now. Uh, just again, quick summary: uh, Team Overflow defeats uh, BBC Grand Platz. Uh, in a sweep. Uh, 3-0. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, everyone watching live, have a good night. Um, if you're, you know, catching us on the VOD, well, enjoy the rest of your day or your night. Have a good one.